Let's jump back to it. Artificial intelligence. What's your thought of uh, the state of where we are at currently with artificial intelligence? And what do you think it takes to build human level or superhuman level intelligence? I don't know what intelligence means. That, that's my biggest question at the moment. And it's I think it's because my instinct is always to go, well, what are the foundations here of our discussion? What does it mean to be intelligent? How do we measure the intelligence of an artificial machine or, or a, a program or something? Can we say that humans are intelligent? Because there's also a fascinating field of how do you measure human intelligence? Of course. Right? But if we just take that for granted, saying that the, whatever this fuzzy intelligence thing we're talking about, humans kind of have it. What would be a good test for you? So Turing develop a test that's natural language conversation. Would that impress you? A chat bot that you'd want to hang out and have a beer with, or f you know, for, for a bunch of hours or have dinner plans with? Would, is that a good test, natural language conversation? Is there something else that would impress you? Or is that also too difficult oh, yeah, to think about? Oh yeah, I'm pretty much impressed by everything. But I think that <laughs> if- Roomba? If there was a, a chat bot that was like incredibly, um, I don't know, really had a personality. And yeah. I, if I didn't, the, the the Turing test, right? Like if I'm unable to tell that it's not another person, but then I was shown a bunch of wires and uh, mechanical components. And there, it was like, that's actually what you're talking to. I don't know if I would feel that guilty destroying it. Hmm. I would feel guilty because clearly it's well-made and it's a really cool thing. It's like destroying a really cool car or something, but I would not feel like I was a murderer. So yeah, at what point would I start to feel that way? And, I, and this is such a subjective psychological question. If you give it movement or if you have it mm, act as though, or perhaps really feel pain as I destroy it and scream mm -hmm. and resist, then I'd feel bad. Yeah, it's beautifully put. And let's just say act like it's in pain. Uh, so if you just have a robot that s not, not screams, just like moans in pain if you kick it, yeah, that immediately just puts it in a class that we humans, it becomes, we anthropomorphize it. It almost be immediately becomes human. So, yeah, but that's a that's psychology a, question as opposed to sort of a physics question. Right, I think that's a really good instinct to have. You know, if the robot, <laughs> <laughs> screams screams and 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 moans even if you don't believe that it has the mental experience the qualia of pain and suffering i think it's still a good instinct to say you know what i'd rather not hurt it the problem is that instinct can get us in trouble because then robots can manipulate that uh, and uh you know there's different kinds of robots there's robots like the facebook and the youtube algorithm that recommends yeah. the video and they can manipulate in the same kind of way